In the first video we talked about for, for deduping accounts, uh, we looked at how to do an exact match and a standard match, uh, but what we're seeing is, is that we still have some that would benefit here, and if we could again look at, at just a look up on dupe, what we're seeing is, is that there's some here that are close matches um, that would benefit from a fuzzy match. So if we go out and look at dupe tests directly, what we see is, is that we currently have no potential duplicates found. So if we go to setup and look at the matching rules, so typing DUPL gets us duplicates. Remember, matching rules is the starting point, and what we're going to do is expand that. Uh, good explanation here. What we're going to do is to create a new rule, and the new rule is going to be based on account, and it's going to be a uh, the title of it. We're going to use account name fuzzy, and then we're going to the matching criteria we're going to use is account name, and then rather than exact match, we're going to do a fuzzy, and then uh, matching blank fields would create lots. That would be any, if, you know, do you want a, anyone with a blank account name? But that doesn't really make sense, but um, you could do that with other fields, and you can create uh, other lookups here, remember anything you'd want to look up to be able to do a match on, and you could also do filter logic to say this one, that one, but not the other one. And so at that point, we can save this match rule, and then we're able to move on and go to our duplicate rules. Oh, what, first thing we have to do is activate because it's currently inactive. Uh, and so it's going to say that's going to take a little while. We're going to say fine. We're going to go to duplicate rules. Uh, same, there's a, a good explanation here. If we click on that, that tells us a bit more about it. Uh, but I'm going to create a new rule. And this is an account rule. And this rule is going to be uh, again, I'm going to call it just account name fuzzy. Um, and what this one is doing is I'm going to bypass my sharing rules because this is not a large org, and this just makes sure that all duplicates show up independent of whether or not they can be shared based on, um, on uh, sharing rules. Um, and then we have a couple of actions. We can allow or we can block uh, the creation. Uh, I, I'm going to allow it. For and, and create an alert and a report. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to say, let's block if someone wants to edit uh, this dupe. And uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, say we're going to compare it with accounts. Um, this is where we're, rather than the standard match rule, we're going to go with fuzzy. And then we're going to, we could add additional conditions with logic if we cared to, but we're okay with that. I could add additional rules. There's tons of different precision you could do with it. So I'm going to click Save. That's going to create the duplicate rule. Now I have to activate it. And so what that does is to create an, an active rule. And now if I go back out to my dupe test and I refresh here now, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to say uh, that we've actually found some interesting things. So it's going to say we found two. So I can view duplicates, and then I could merge these because ink and co are really the same thing. So I'm going to say next, and then what it would do is to allow me to be able to figure out which of these I actually wanted to merge based on create date and modified dates. Um, if I look, though, out at... Uh, especially at the beginning, notice that I didn't pick up foundation as one of those three. And so if we, if we go out and we look at uh, the matching methods used, and we look specifically at account, what you find is, is that the words ink and corp are not used in mat, but, but acronyms are for big corporations. So that's interesting. And then uh, what we're going to do then is, as a as a next uh, next step is we're going to be looking specifically at the reports that get produced through this and hopefully that'll give you some insight into uh, how you can track on these things if you just create a report thanks